Welcome back, everyone. I have got a really cool knife that, <laughs> again, I never heard of until Gary, my buddy, asked me if he could send it to me. And normally he doesn't ask. I think he didn't really ask. He just kind of told me, hey, I'm getting this thing and I'm going to send it over to you. And that was great. I said, sure, no problem. Send it away. And he had just said it was a Herman knife. I was like, okay, whatever. I don't know. Sure, send it over. And then I got a message from Fort Henry asking me to confirm a buyer and what knife they were buying to send to me because they thought it was a little shady that somebody on the East Coast was ordering a knife and having it shipped to the, me in the West Coast and yada yada. So I responded to Vince over at Fort Henry and Vincent and said, I am not 100% sure. I know my buddy Gary and, you know, gave him the last name and all that was ordering something from you guys, but I don't know the model number or anything like that. And he was going to send it to me for a YouTube video before I shipped it off to him over in the area that he lives. I hope that's good enough. Is that the right thing and whatnot? And Vincent wrote back and said, yep, that's perfect. I'll get it in the mail today. So then when I opened the box, there was a note from Vincent in here that basically says, hey, hey, Dirk, I saw in your Instagram feed pics that you were carrying a USMC challenge coin, which I often do carry and I have posted on my pictures. And he, Vincent goes on to say, on the chance that you are a fellow Marine, I am including a metal Eagle Globe and Anchor sticker for you. Take care, Semper Fi. And so he sends me his business card and a very cool metal Eagle Globe and Anchor sticker, which I thought was very cool. He went out of his way to one, look at my Instagram. Awesome. Link for that will be down in the description. Um, and two, to hand write a note and put it in the box. Super awesome. Thank you, Vincent. I do greatly appreciate that. No, I am not the Marine. My dad was the Marine and I carry that coin in remembrance of him. Um, there was a lot of military in my family, my extended family primarily. And uh, so I carry that for my dad who is no longer with us, but unrelated to the Marines. He just, you know, got old. But Anyway, that, that's the story with the coin. So let's get on to this Polish Custom Knives knife, a, a company I didn't even know about. And I'm going to put a link to their uh, website down below. Uh, I found a, an English version of their website because the first one I found was a uh, Polish version. So they're a very, they make a lot of different stuff. They've got folders, they've got fixed blades. Um, they've got the patches that you see here. This is a patch. Uh, they've got some really cool stuff, reasonably priced. Uh, this one was in the uh, just shy of $700 range. So that's very cool for what you're getting here. I am super impressed having handled this a bit. Uh, yeah, so we'll talk about the knife here in just a moment as well. But it comes in a nice um, padded zipper, you know, a standard zippered pouch that's embroidered. Comes with a patch, the certificate of authenticity. This is the Slim 32 model. We'll go through the um, specs here in just a moment. But what it also comes with is spare bearings. So apparently they are loose bearings. So they come with a handful of loose, spare loose bearings, which is very cool and very uh, custom knife factory-esque where it comes with a little bag of hardware. Um, and then it comes with this uh, tool. It's kind of a hex head, a Torx, I think, you know, but it includes a titanium tool for their pivot, which I think is awesome. You know, again, I have said it many times, I'm cool with the proprietary hardware because I think we are looking as knife enthusiasts and knife collectors, we are looking for something 
that is unique and cool and all of that. But we also want to be able to take our knives apart should the need arise. And I think there are a lot of people that just take them apart because they can. And they get upset when they can't. I'm just going to move this stuff off to the side here. And so I, I appreciate the fact that they give you the tool. You know, Chris Reeve gives you the tool. Grimsmo Brothers give you the tool. Um, there are a lot of places that include a tool to take apart and service your knife. And then there are a lot of places that say if you put a tool on that knife, the warranty is void. If you take it apart, you've blown your warranty. I, I, I don't subscribe to that thought process, but okay. So let's dive into, now that we've I've rambled enough. Let's dive into this Polish Custom Knives Herman Slim 32. Now, the owner and the maker is Bartos Herman, but he just goes by Herman on most everything I've seen. So, let's dive into it. It is five inches closed, eight and three quarters overall, with a 3.83 inch blade and an 8.8 .8 inch cutting edge. It is M390 blade steel. The blade thickness is 0.134 and the overall thickness is 0.487. Runs on bearings, as we said, and you saw, they're loose bearings. That I don't love. Okay, now I don't take my knives apart generally. Um, like I've said before, you guys have seen every knife I've taken apart because I've got four, maybe five disassembly videos because I don't take them apart very often. I, I don't know. A lot of people did like those videos though. Um, so maybe I'll do another, you know, disassembly video here and there. I'm not going to get to the point with some of the other YouTubers and stuff that a new knife comes in and the first thing they do is tear it apart and do a video and then they do a review or they do a review and then they tear it apart. I, I'm not going to be that guy, but I may on occasion do some disassembly videos if that's something that interests you. You can post in the comments. So let's take a close look at this thing. It has a beautiful stonewashed blade grind or blade finish ugh, with a full flat grind. This thing is slicey, I can tell. I mean, I didn't slice with it, but I can tell. It's not a very thick blade stock to begin with, and it just, with that full flat grind, it tapers down really thin. So that's going to work really well. So it's a titanium liner lock. So it's a titanium scales that are milled really nicely. They look very uniform and like they took some time. Kind of unique hardware on this side, just kind of the butt ends of the screw or the head end of the screw hardware sticking through. Carbon fiber backspacer, which is very cool. They also did some milling inside on the scales for lightening. They did a cutout here under the pocket clip, which I think is unique. I don't see that often. But that's a very cool thing. So as it's in your pocket, this works great in and out of the pocket. Captured pivot there, which is cool. Only need one tool. It's a titanium liner that has some milling right there on the relief part, as well as on this side. They did matching milling kind of on the, the show side also. And it's because it's a liner, you can, you know, it's just bolted in. You can unbolt those two screws and replace the lock bar, should that ever need to happen. And then they carbonized the end of the titanium. So there's no lock bar insert, steel lock bar insert. So it is just titanium onto the blade, which is going to freak a lot of people out or a couple of people out maybe um, because the titanium is softer than the steel. 
So over time, it could become a lock stick issue. The lock bar could wear, blah, 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 blah. There are a ton of people that are not using lock bar inserts. So that's not an issue. It feels fantastic in the hand. It reminds me a lot of, and I wished I had one here to kind of compare to the Grimsmo Brothers Norseman. It reminds me of, not the blade shape, that, that's very unique, um, but it also reminds me kind of handle so shape of the RJ Martin uh, Q something. I don't remember what that was. The Q36, I think, that my buddy Chris lent me. Awesome, awesome knife. Um, so it takes some, you know, at first glance, it reminds me of those two. It's totally different, but reminds me of those two. Now, they're one negative for me personally, is the sound when it locks open. It's a little bit tingy, if, if that makes sense. And I don't know how well that's gonna come over the uh, audio here, but let's take a listen. So it's a little tingy for me, but I don't know. I mean, I have quickly gotten over that <laughs> because everything else about it is awesome. Um, it's very Shirogarov in feel of the firing open and the drop shutty closing. Yeah, this one, Gary, I think you're going to love this one. And uh, yeah, thanks for letting me check it out. So rather than ramble on too much longer, let's do a couple of quick size comparisons here with the Sharpie, the Spider Codelica. Told you these are gonna be quick. The Benchmade 940. The Quiet Carry Waypoint. And last but not least, because we're talking full-size knife here, the Hellraiser P-Series, which is just a hair shorter. The Herman takes the takes the win there so yeah this is a very cool knife uh, i would definitely go check out their website at the link below because they've got just a ton a ton of stuff so there you go guys thanks for watching i do greatly appreciate it have yourselves a fantastic day and we'll see you tomorrow